I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Woke Wednesday takes on conspiracies. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all platforms or donate. This gospel, this gospel, salvation by grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ needs to be in our church's youth. Link in the description, tax deductible gift, give today. Wednesday is Woke Wednesday on, uh, on our video shorts. We're going to talk about conspiracies. Do we land on the moon? Is the Rona just a conspiracy? Is the earth flat? Oh, can't wait. Uh, Erica Jacoby is the uh, executive director of Higher Things. She is also uh, a former um, high school, public school teacher. Uh, Erica, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Um, I saw this topic. I got super excited. (laughs) Would you explain what a conspiracy theory is and give us some examples? I should have known that this was going to tickle your crazy. I had no idea. You you know that I'm not going to prove or disprove conspiracy theories today, right? We don't have that kind of time. Uh, so, we can make that kind of time. <laughs> not today, my friend. Sandra says no. Um, so, sure, I will explain what a conspiracy theory is first. And I thought it would be particularly interesting to follow this up after our last week's hyper-partisanship conversation. Um, I thought it might be kind of fun to do this. So I'm glad I'm glad you're excited about it. So essentially, a, a dictionary.com, who I love to look up, many of our definitions come from there, um, says that it's a theory that rejects the standard explanation for an event and instead credits a covert group or organization with carrying out a secret plot. Um, It's a belief that a particular unexplained event was caused by such a covert group, Um, and it's the idea that many important political events or economic um, and social trends are the products of deceptive plots that are largely unknown to the general public. And I should also define a couple other terms uh, that may come up as we as we discuss this. And the first one is disinformation. Disinformation is deliberately misleading or giving biased information. Um, it's a manipulation, a manipulated narrative or facts. It's also known as propaganda. And then there's misinformation, which is different from disinformation, which is actually just false information that is spread, regardless of whether or not there's that intent to mislead. So um, we'll talk about both of those a little bit. But now you will ask me to give you some examples. Um, I'll give you a few examples of past um, conspiracy theories. They've even made movies about these. So these are kind of fun. Um, The first one is the government cover up of the fact that there are aliens, right? Roswell, there's a Roswell UFO incident uh, or activity at Area 51. Area 51. Area 51. (laughs) Theories, theories concerning Men in Black, favorite movie, good movie of mine, um, who allegedly silenced witnesses. You know, they did the flashy thing, right? That's how they, that's how they showed it in the movie. Um, it another causes one headaches, be, not unlike the post-COVID headaches that I've been experiencing. So you never oh, know. You never maybe. know. Thanks Look right here. It, it was Will Smith. He did it to me. Continue on. Whoa, too much fun with this. Um, the other one would be a denial of the Holocaust. Um, it's a it's an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory uh, with the position being that the Holocaust was a hoax designed to advance the interest of the Jewish people and to justify the creation of the state of Israel. Um, that's another kind of one about histor- history. Another one would be... Um, would be uh, about vaccination. Earth. I'm not. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to indulge <laughs> all of the ones that you want me to do. We have a limit of time. Um, would be uh, 
vaccination. Uh, the, the conspiracy claimed that uh, the pharmaceutical industry mounted a cover-up of, of a link between vaccines and autism. Um, it developed in Britain at the end of um, the century, 1998, um, and the paper that brought it up was uh, discredited by a former doctor called, named Andrew Wakefield. Um, but the movement gained a lot of traction and still has in the United States because a number of prominent people um, vouch for it um, and has actually led to increased rates of infection and death from diseases like measles in many countries, including the United States. So, um, so yeah, those are some examples. I did not list all of your favorite ones. I mean, you can throw them out there, but we don't want to get too sidetracked. Um, and then the problem kind of that goes on with conspiracy theories is that they've kind of increased in pitch, right, during, during this sort of election time. Um, but it seems that when you try to condemn a conspiracy, it actually play, it actually almost further entrenches the believer in their beliefs. So the more you kind of like disclaim and say that that's not true or try to prov provide truth, it almost, they, they almost become defended with like a religious fervor is kind of the concern. So there you uh, go. All right. So is there, are, are conspiracy theories a particular problem in our society? Or, I mean, you look at my Netflix, it's like conspiracy theories all the way across <laughs> <laughs> the documentary. If, if I'm, it's a guilty pleasure. And yeah. if I'm, if I'm all by myself, I'm going to, I'm going to be watching about, uh, you Little are Man not, Man. you're about, it must be, it must be on the rise. If we're discussing it on our woke Wednesday and not just trying to out me for being cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Right, right. This is not about outing you. You are not alone. You're going to be happy about this. Um, well, that that was the that was the whole point of the. <laughs> I was not right. alone. Never mind. Yeah. You're <laughs> oh boy, American Journal of uh, Political Science uh, did a study in 2006 and 2011 and found that about half of the U.S. population believe in some sort of conspiracy theory. Uh, today, they're thinking the figure may be even higher. Uh, folks who study this phenomenon that include political sciences and psychologists and even the FBI now argue um, that it maybe is on the rise and they think it's due to a, the average person's exposure to them has increased in large part because they are aired and eat more easily disseminated on, guess it, social media, right? So, um, we so will some of the find trends out. Help. We will know all the secrets. It's, right. It's on my Facebook so, feed. <laughs> need a mute button, Sandra. Can we work on that? So some some trends that tell us that kind of conspiracy conspiracy theories are on the rise are an overall uh, overall reported decrease in trust of all institutions. And you and I have talked about this even with the church as an institution, but it's all institutions. It's business. It's government. It's it's the church, it's any kind of institution. Um, they also think it's due to um, sort of an ending of local news and newspapers, news like local news sources. Um, the other obvious one is the social media environment that makes rumors so easy to spread and extraordinarily difficult to, to debunk. And on top of that, social media um, like Facebook and YouTube um, use algorithms um, that are designed to kind of serve up a tailored content that reinforces what you're already looking at and believing. I knew it. Um, They're all in it right. together. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's actually provable um, that they do that. And so they're actually feeding people more and more extreme content based on an attempt to kind of keep them on their site. Um, again, there's a, there's a, an increase in hyperpartisanship, which we talked about last time, political parties that grab onto anything and anyone that will kind of help their political fortunes. Um, and then the last part, which you alluded to uh, when you were talking earlier, when I was talking, is that human beings are just kind of wired this way. They look for information that are, confirms the biases that we already have. And to be honest, we're just attracted to crazy things. It's why we slow down as we drive by an accident. It explains our attractions to TV series about serial killers, why we watch reality TV, and so forth. We the contrails. To... Yeah, we want to... They're controlling our minds. <laughs> we want to hear the... <laughs> 
Um, if you want to know a little bit more about that, um, there's a there's a really good resource for you. It's called the Shorenstein Center by out by Harvard, and they publish reports and papers. They track some of these things. So if you're interested in learning more about disinformation and conspiracies, you can um, you can look there. Um, but now it's my turn to make you talk. It's okay. I'm ready to go. And ask you. I'm going to ask you to put this put this all this craziness aside and conspiracy theories aside and, and ask you, what is the best way for a Christian to deal with conspiracy theories, disinformation, misinformation for that matter? How are we to live in this world uh, and love and serve our neighbor in spite of some of the, some of the crazy that's so, going on? And what if it's crazy? Whoa. So it's not crazy if they're really after you. It's the Illuminati. <laughs> I, I like their pizza. That's Illuminati's. Another- in Chicago. Good movie. Good movie. All right. So um, first things first, uh, all kidding aside, and, and most of this was a joke, I, I don't need a four page single space letter because you think that I believe in aliens. I, I, I don't. I, I don't care. First things first is that, that we're free in Christ uh, to take in information, make decisions uh, that we can the best that we can. I think some of the folks that are um, all, most of most of the Christians who uh, sort of latch onto anything that may seem out of the norm are doing so with a good conscience. They're, they're not crazy. Um, I'm crazy. Uh, they're not crazy. And so um, the folks that are sort of struggling with vaccines or, or, uh, 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 and I, and I, and I remembered halfway through while you were talking that my flat earth friend describes her other flat, flat earth friends as woke. And so this, this, this is a woke person. So that's why we're doing this today. Um, as you take in the information, the thing to remember is that there, that, that Jesus is Lord. Um, and so, uh, if, uh, the, the thing that you think is happening is actually happening. If, if, if you need to free your mind and the rest will follow, um, understand that the Lord of heaven and earth, he's got you. So even if everything you think is true is true, he's got you. The other thing is to slow down. You crazy child, you're too ambitious for a juvenile, Billy Joel. Um, and um, and sort of slow down and don't make quick judgments. This is the Proverbs. Don't fly off the handle. Don't be the first to share the thing. Um, do research and sort of, um, and that's more just so that you don't um, concern, you know, sort of upset your um, uh your, your neighbor and hurt your neighbor. And finally, remember that we're not to trust princes. Um, we're to trust the word of God. And it's the word of God, which tells us uh, that no matter what, how this ends, it's going to end for our good. Um, and uh, that he is coming back and that he will save us. And so um, when we're sort of dealing with information that we don't know what to believe and what not to believe, it even further strengthens our resolve that the surest thing in the world is that Jesus died for you and rose for you and lives for you and that you will be saved by faith in him. Hope that helps. It does. It does. All right. Good subject uh, it today. I, comfort. It, I, it took me uh, 10 minutes into the video to, to figure out why it was Woke Wednesday. I think I was distracted by um, the fact that there, there shouldn't be footprints on the moon in a vacuum. But yet, experiments show that in a vacuum, thus will clump together as footprints. Ooh. Yes. So, well, um, science today. yeah, having a great time debunking, um, and cherishing, uh, different conspiracy theories. Remember the truth is the word of God, Erica. Um, thank you for being the face that runs the place and higher things. Um, we'll see you next week. Sounds good. The certainty is in the gospel. The certainty is in Jesus. Hold fast to Jesus and all these other things, uh, both both the things that we think are true and may not be true and the things that we think are true that are true um, will keep us, um, all of that, from judging others, um, looking down on them or pushing them down or thinking them crazy, remembering that we're all in this together, waiting for the return of Jesus. And he is coming soon to save us. Um, and that is not a conspiracy theory. That's as sure as he his re- death and resurrection. I'm Pastor George Borkhart. I don't know where Thor is. And this has been another Higher Things video short.